Hey guys, TikTok Sully here, or just Sully, and today I wanted to bring you guys a video on Bape's founder Nigo and what he's been doing since leaving the brand back in 2011. Now Bape is still alive and well, but in case you didn't know, Nigo isn't a part of the brand anymore and he sold it to a Chinese company by the name of IT Group. So today we'll be looking at what Nigo keeps himself busy with since leaving the brand. Starting off, to replace the void of Bape, Nigo founded a new brand entitled Human Made, which has some similarities to Bape, but is more of a sophisticated version of the streetwear brand. Human Made still works with graphics and prints, but this time around, Nigo also concentrates on making the garments have an authentic vintage feel. The brand's still playful and light-hearted, and even though it's a more mature version of Bape, the brand's demographic is still teenagers as well as adults, as its slogan is gears for futuristic teenagers. So once you're done with Bape, this is what you might find yourself graduating to, which is what happened to Nigo's longtime friend, Pharrell. Nigo's also letting go of other old memories whilst making some crazy money in the process, because he's also involved in auctioning off some of his old collector items by partnering up with the art dealer company Sotheby's. Sotheby's specializes in auctioning off fine art from all different backgrounds and cultures and Nigo partnered up with them back in 2014 to host an auction entitled Nigo Only Lives Twice where he auctioned off some of his most memorable and prized belongings such as a Goyard shoecase with four pairs of babesters in them which sold for $8,000, a Cause Companion which sold for $129,000 and even a diamond set Richard Mill which sold for $100,000. $90,000. This auction produced a total of over $4 million in revenue. Now this might sound like a lot, but just a few years later, in 2019, Nigo returned to the Sotheby's estate to this time auction off a bunch of cost collectible pieces. This time it was entitled Nigo Golden Knight Volume 1 and this one was even more ridiculous. Some notable items that sold at auction were things such as a cause Astro Boy figure which sold for $400,000, a cause Kimson artwork which sold for a whopping $2.7 million, and the most expensive piece to go was a cause Kimson album artwork which some crazy guy dropped 14.7 million dollars on which is absolutely ridiculous even cause himself was amazed that one of his pieces sold for this price and to make it even worse that painting was estimated to go for a max of 1 million dollars so Nigo definitely went crazy with that one this time this auction produced a total of 28 million dollars in revenue so clearly Nigo is doing just fine Nigo also manages and produces for a female pop group out in Japan who go by the name of Billy idol and they seem to have quite the following out in Asia so that seemed to go well for everyone involved and Nigo actually formed the group back in 2015 along with a partner. Nigo is also the current creative director of Unique Clothes UT line which is the retailer sub label that concentrates on graphic print designs. This makes a lot of sense because of course Nigo specializes in that area and as well as that we often forget that Uniqlo is a Japanese based brand so it's a great fit for Nigo to be involved with them in some type of way. Moving on, one of Nigo's biggest business and doesn't actually involve clothing as he actually got into the food business and opened up two eating establishments out in Japan one by the name of 2 to 5 cafe and the other which is a more flourishing business by the name of Koryo. 2 to 5 cafe is based out in Tokyo or it was based out in Tokyo because according to Google it shut down back in 2017. I can't confirm this because quite clearly I live in England and I don't have any plans to visit Tokyo in the near future but it does make sense because it gives Nigo the chance to concentrate on his other food venture being Koryo up which is open and actually has three branches out in Japan so that's another business venture that's going really well for him. Curry up actually opened up in 2010 and it specializes in curry dishes in case you didn't realize. Curry up was also reportedly named by Pharrell Williams so that's something cool to know about the place and it's actually doing quite well because of Nigo's affiliation with the place so check it out if you guys are ever out in Japan. Nigo also partakes in random collaborations from time to time with brands such as G-Shock and Converse and he also has an ongoing collaboration with Adidas where he does drop stuff every now and then such as sneaker designs. And overall since leaving Bape, Nigo has just continued to ball like he always has. His spending hasn't seemed to have slowed down and he still buying what he wants and maintaining his high taste level the only difference is, is that now he's pushing 50 and a bathing ape isn't his baby anymore he's still attacking art the same way as when he was at bape because if you take a look at his instagram he's still getting custom goyard painted on this time just with human made motifs he's still hanging out with the same people that supported him whilst he was over at bape such as pharrell williams and kanye west he's still riding in the craziest whips and he's even still making crazy custom jewelry he just recently had this human made polar bed chain made which was done by Jacob the jeweler and that shit is just as ridiculous as the bait pieces that he used to rock back in the day. I mean look at it on his neck, it goes crazy, it's even wider than his head but that's Nigo for you. A cultural giant that's been in the game from time and it's good to see him still enjoying his life. 
which brings me to the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to hit that like button as it always helps and if you're interested in fashion then you should also subscribe by clicking down over there also don't forget to follow me on my instagram which is tiktok sully and i'll be sure to leave a link to that down below in the description but that's all from me today thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one